Hi, my name is Alana Ransom. Hi, my name is Ayana Root. And this is BBB Productions of Week at a Glance. How was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was good. How about you? It was all right. I got to see my brother, so that was good. At least my dog had puppies. You know, she had four girls and one boy. That's so cute. Thank you. So that moves us into the principal's message. Happy Monday, Baloo Nation. It was a wonderful week for Thanksgiving, and now we are heading into the holidays, having completed half of the school year. It is a time of reflection and thanks, and I want to make sure that I acknowledge the cast of 100s who make Baloo one of the best. Although we have had several challenges this school year, we have, there have been so many great experiences for our students, and the rest of the year promises even more. Thank you to our teachers for having their unending for their unending energy and dedication to creating lessons for our students that are engaging and powerful. To our CCT office staff for their personal touch and supporting our students' and parents' needs. To our custodians for keeping the campus functioning. Again, this year I want to give a special acknowledgement to Ms. Anderson and our social media team. They have created some of the most attractive and informative social media posts to engage all stakeholders. We have to thank our Connected Schools Manager, Ms. Stewart, and the host volunteers. Particularly during our holiday events, your work is so appreciated. A huge thank you to our TLI's Department Chair and School Librarian. Ms. Watermaker, Mr. Jones, Mr. Miles, Dr. Morrison, Ms. Blaze, and Mr. French, and Mrs. Melissa Jackson. You guys are the true pillars of our school's community. As we enter into this week, I ask that everyone treat this week as though it is the first week of school. Please revisit classroom rules, behavior expectation, and school-wide policies. Let's reset the tone for the remainder of the 2022 school year. Shout out to Ms. Betsy Vasquez Valerio, her great work leading instruction in our 10th grade geometry class. We love seeing our urban teacher residents stepping up and serving as a lead teacher. Keep up the great work. Shout out to Ms. Melissa Jackson and our TOPS partner for hosting the 2K22 Heart for Harvest event. Our scholars thoroughly enjoyed the music, sweet treats, and 360 camera booth. Shout out to Mr. R. Scott, Mr. Payne, and Mr. D. Scott, and Mr. West for delivering to our family for delivering to our families for our monthly market and Thanksgiving giveaway. The felt appreciates you. Thank you to Baloo staff who sponsored the family during the Thanksgiving holiday. I appreciate you. Shout out to Ms. Persinger for her work with families during the GK, GTK launch. Huge thank you to everyone who supported the 11th grade Soul Fest. We appreciate you. I'm Ayana Bird. I'm Alana Ransom. And this is BB Production. We get a glance. See you later. Bye. Get vaccinated, y'all. Get vaccinated. <laughs> Getting your child vaccinated will help keep your students safe and in a classroom where we know they learn best. Students who are fully vaccinated do not need to quarantine if they come in close contact with someone in or outside of school who had test positive for COVID-19. Learn more about our health and medical safety measures at dcpsreopen.com slash health slash reopen. Get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. The COVID-19 vaccine is the best way for us to help stop the spread of COVID and keep our community safe. Children ages 5 and older are now able to get the Pfizer vaccine in DCPS schools. We encourage all DCPS families to get the vaccine and keep themselves safe. Be sure to get vaccinated. Students who have received two doses of the vaccine should provide a photocopy of their COVID-19 vaccination card to their school's athletic director. If 18 or older receive the one dose Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, please complete this step as well. Get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. If your student does not feel well after receiving the vaccination, please be sure to contact a pediatrician or healthcare provider for any medical questions or concerns. If your student will miss school due to not feeling well, please submit a note so his absence can be excused. Additionally, please be sure to connect with child's teacher to access any assignments,
programs or activities that may be appropriate to support learning at home. Get vaccinated, period. For student athletes who turn 12 after November 1st, 2021, the deadline for the vaccination is two months after their birthday. This means they should get vaccinated as soon as possible after their 12th birthday. Get vaccinated, period. If you want to play blue sport, get Hello, my name is Jeremiah Graham. My name is Hassan Coles. My name is Jamar Clark. Welcome to BBB Productions, and this is Sports Talk. Today I'll be talking about the Patriots facing off against the Titans this week. The Patriots came on top with the win, 36-13. And also, Patriots uh, rookie quarterback, Matt Jones, threw for 310 yards, <coughs> and also two touchdowns. What do you think about his performance? Well, Matt Jones is a rookie quarterback, throwing for 310 yards. That's a great performance from him. In my opinion, I believe Matt Jones will win Offensive Rookie of the Year. He keeps playing the way he's playing and uh, hopefully lead the Patriots to the playoffs. I also agree. I feel like he's a good leader for the Patriots. And also, Ryan Tannehill, he threw for 93 yards and also one pick and also one touchdown. What do you think about his performance? I feel like Ryan Tannehill could do way better than he is now. Um, the pick kind of messed everything up. In my opinion, Ryan Tannehill is a league quarterback, but slowly he's been declining in the league and as a leader. Yeah, I also agree. Now both teams are 8-4, and four, leading their, uh, lead on the top of their divisions, hoping to go to the playoffs this year. Today I'm going to be talking about the Lakers and the Pistons game yesterday. The score was 106-110. The Lakers won. Anthony Davis had 24 points. LeBron James had 33. The goal himself, Russell Westbrook, had 25 points, 9 assists, and 6 rebounds. How do y'all feel about the performance? Um, I don't feel like Russell Westbrook is the MVP. Um, I don't feel like he's the GOAT. You know, I feel like Seth Curry is the GOAT. He's the best of all time. In my opinion, I think Magic Johnson is the go point guard. But both, all three point guards are top ten point guards of all time, and they show, then they shown why they are. Yeah, I also agree. Uh, but Jeremy Grant had a great performance too, with 32 points. Kate Cunningham had 15 points, two assists, and 11 rebounds. How do y'all feel about the rookies' uh, performance? It was great, but I felt like they could have did better. You know, do some more assists. You know. And as a rookie, Kate Cunningham has a slight excuse of, to underperform. This is his first year in the NBA facing the top talent in the world, but hopefully if he's putting up 15 points against great stars like LeBron, he's going to eventually get better and perform better. Yeah, I also agree with Hassan, but Jalen Green should have been the number one draft pick. But I'm passing it to Jeremy Graham, Jeremiah Graham. He didn't go yet. Well, I'm passing it to Hassan Coach. In school basketball news, the Lubes, JV, girls, and varsity team will be facing Kip in a season opener game at Baloo High School. Since this is the first game of the season, this is a statement game to show all teams in D.C. facing Baloo that they are ready. Um, this is Jeremiah Graham. This is Hassan Coast. This is Jamar Clint. You see guys next week from Word from My Spots. Good afternoon, Knights. This is BBB Productions. I'm Ricardo Hutchison, and I'm today's meteorologist for the, for the week's forecast. Today is 51 degrees, so make sure the jackets are on and your mask is over your face because you will be very vulnerable of coronavirus or flu or anything like that that can get you sick. On Wednesday, it will be 54 degrees which still means to keep your jackets on. Thursday will be, will be 64 degrees. On Friday, it's 57 degrees. On Saturday, it's 58 degrees. And on Sunday, it will be 50 degrees. And make sure you be prepared for the Moon Knights basketball game, which will be a bit warmer than the other weekdays. And again, this is Ricardo Hutchison, I'm your meteorologist for, for the weekend, or for today. And this is BB Productions, and I'm out. Oh, oh. oh. hello everyone, my name is Kosi Phillips. And I'm Savion Phillips. 
Um, before we get into anything, we would like to talk about the Thanksgiving break. How was your Thanksgiving break? I think mine was fine. Mine was divine. <laughs> and I had some good food. I had some mac and cheese, some turkey, some ham. What'd you have? She, my grandma made mac and cheese. Oh, I missed it. You I did. didn't go to my grandma's house. It was I went so to good. my cousins. It was it was it was fun. It was fun. And our topic today is um what's popping. It's our new segment about celebrity news. And our first topic is a little sadder. It was it's about the death of um a really a really big fashion star. He's well known uh, in all parts of the world. Um, Virgil Abloh. Uh, the barrier-breaking black designer whose ascent to the heights of traditional luxury industry changed what was possible in fashion died on Sunday afternoon in Chicago after a two-year battle with cardiac angiosarcoma, a rare cancer, and he was only 41 years old. His death was confirmed by his family. The artistic director of Louis Vuitton's menswear, as well as the founder of his own brand, Off-White, Mr. Ablo, was a prolific collaborator with outside brands from Nike to Evian and a popular fashion theorist whose expansive and occasionally controversial approach to design inspired comparisons with everyone from Andy Warhol to Jeff Koons. Mr. Ablo transformed not just what consumers wanted to wear, um, bridging the gap between high beast culture and the luxury world, but also what brands widened the designer and the meaning of fashion itself. May he rest in peace. Sadly, there's more sad news. I'm sure you guys are aware of the incident that happened at Astro World, the Travis Scott concert. Sadly, a nine year old Ezra Blount, the youngest victim to die at the concert, Travis Scott offered to pay off the funeral expenses, but the family declined. The family sent a letter to Rolling Stone saying, your client's offer is the client. I, I have no doubt that Travis Scott feel remorse. His journey ahead will be painful. He must face and hopefully see that he bears some of the responsibility of this tragedy. Blount family lawyer Bob Hillier said in the blistering response. Now we're going to be lifting the mood and talking about something that's going to be happening at my school, Blue High School. We're doing restorative justice group circles, which is a little meeting we have where we'll be talking about topics to lift people's moods, let people get stuff off their chest and make new friends, such as our topic. Yes. What? Our topic. Oh, right, my bad. The <laughs> Travis Scott concert, you could talk if you think it's his fault or if you think it's the fans fault for the incident that happened and so many people being injured. This has been Kosi and Savion with What's Poppin'. And that's And we'll be back after this paid break from our sponsors. Like this place. My name is 
Mr. Lady Williams, and I love taking cinematic art. My name is Diana Briggs. This is what I love about cinematic arts. What I really love is that everybody sticks together and we all work as a team. From the lights to the cameras to the editing, everything. I really love how we take videos and how we take pictures and everything is adjusted right for us. We're actually doing a talk show and it's really going to be fun for me. Everybody can come together and actually put everything they learned from cinematic arts into the talk show. We also do things in the control room and we also control everything and Mr. Mitch is really fun and he actually let us do everything on our own and learn how to do production on our own. How many is on the bridge and I love some background? My name is Ralph Butler, and this is three things I like about cinematic arts. Mr. Mitch, a good teacher, he funny, he done told me about videographer, photographer, and all that. He told me how to focus the camera right, he told me how to get a good background. He been teaching me a lot of things. We got a lot of projects going on right now. We only been in school for three weeks, you know, so this is a good class. And this is Ralph Butler, and I approve this message. My name is Alexis, and what I love about cinematic arts besides the stuff we do in class is that the personal job that I get to do is just shooting football games, basketball games, graduations, and stuff like that. And I learned a lot about cameras and how to use the different lightings in different settings. And at the football games, I get to capture the moments of the football team, the crowd, and just everything in general. And that's what I love about cinematic arts. Hello, my name is William Vaughn, and I love cinematic arts because cinematic arts is something new to me, something that I haven't done, and 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 with cinematic arts, I can like make videos, sounds, and and take photos, and and thanks to Mr. Mitchell, he he has been helping me to do with all that, and I would like to thank him. My name is William Vaughn, and and I like cinematic arts. Hi, my name is Sylvia Harrison because I like cinematic arts because we take pictures outside and we we could we could see the pictures and stuff on the cameras and we could take videos and coach coach could teach us how to vlog with the cameras and he's a very nice guy because he teaches how to work the cameras and work the videos and put music with the videos and do backdrops with the videos and he's a very nice guy and hi my name is Sue Harrison and I like your night guards. My name is Lone Good Goodway. I'm not saying oh. art. <sighs> Say Brady. That's in my art. My name is Akila Hard and I like seven minute guards. I love cinematic art. My name is Jamel Parks.